Hi everybody, it's Jeff. I'm just doing another update. As you see, I've come back out to uh, where I was previously. Uh, the reason for that is I wanted to see if the flowers had opened. I'm just going to uh, change the screen so you can see now it's well flowered round here. This is the wild garlic and yes, it does stink round here, but it's uh, quite nice. So I enjoyed it the last time. I had a bacon butty on granary bread from the two mugs or three mugs or whatever it is and I thought I'd do the same again. I went to pick up the uh, sandwich, all excited, said oh we've run out of bacon so uh, we had to have sausage and then when I got here, opened it up, it wasn't granary bread, it was white bread and they'd also forgot to put on the brown sauce. So that's my last really naughty meal. And then, let me just try and get me back. Here we are. And what uh, is going to happen now is today I've had a letter and it's official that I am going to have a bypass. And this time next week, I definitely won't be doing a Facebook Live uh, because I'll be on the bed with loads of surgeons and nurses all around just doing bits and pieces that I can't stop them because I'll be fast asleep. So yes, it's all going ahead now and it's uh, Monday. I've got to go in for a pre-op, a uh, pre-op assessment. So they'll be asking lots of questions and measuring me and doing whatever they want to do. And then it's a COVID test and I need to isolate, or so they say. And then I go in on Friday, have the op, and then it's seven nights in the hospital. So basically it's a nice bed and breakfast, 24 hours a day, with loads of staff waiting on me hand and foot. And uh, all for free. So I'll be a changed man when I come out of there. So the recovery's going to be a bit slow. And hopefully, uh, I've been round to all my customers now, so you should have all had notification of this. And there's one or two deliveries I need to get done. And, but we're not going to stop the business, even though uh, I'm going to be incapacitated for a while. I'll say you can still put orders in, and rather than being a two or three day delivery, it might be uh, a couple of weeks because we've got to fit it in when Diane can give me a lift uh, because apparently it's six weeks before I can drive which is going to be rather strange because I don't think I've not driven for that long since I passed my test so uh, oh no no when I get went the Gulf War um, no we had cars there so no I think this will be the longest I've been without driving so that's it um, I'll do a, another update probably Monday when I get to uh, the hospital for the pre-assessment and believe it or not it's going to be another hospital so that's like five or six different hospitals that I've visited since this journey began and obviously from Friday on the website it's not going to be the lead up anymore it's going to be the operation and if you go on to uh, the website www.jeffowin.biz uh, you'll see on the operation page that uh, if there's anybody that's squeamish like me um, then you don't see that page straight away you've got a warning that pops up and you need to click it uh, before you can go on to that page because I will be putting photos of uh, the scars and the seals and whatever they do and I'm just going to have a sit down now and uh, so it might get uh, quite interesting there and whether they let me take photos in the hospital I don't know but basically I'm trying to cover everything documenting the whole journey and then the hard part for me then is going to be the um, recovery phase because it's going to be slow and I've got to be patient and I've never been a patient patient so I've had all the customers and thanks uh, to all the customers who've sent letters, cards, 
written on the day slips and uh, wishing me luck and a speedy recovery and I think most of you know that uh, I'll be trying to make that recovery as speedy as possible uh, especially Pat who said uh, she can't believe what's happened to me because uh, I'm somebody who always runs rather than walks and uh, hopefully uh, later next uh, later this year I'll be running rather than walking so that's it for now so that's the latest update and I'll transfer this to the website uh, when I get home well I might throw a few photos because I'm having to play with the camera uh, because for the next few weeks I won't be getting out much and uh, so it's gonna be rather interesting so uh, it'll be inside shots uh, for the next week once I get into the hospital and when I'm isolating at home so I thought I'd do one from out in the fresh air so that's it for now and speak to you all soon bye now